Good morning. Hi, my name is Faber. Welcome to my channel if you're new. So for my regular subscribers, my regular viewers, hi you guys. Okay, so I am just putting this here in the beginning of this vlog because some people are only coming to see the Natalie attire. So I'm going to jump right into that and then we'll kind of back up a little bit and back into the regular vlogs. Okay. All right. So Good morning, my name is Favor. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'd like to welcome you. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around a while. I ordered the Natalie Attired Celebration Collection. I ordered that. It was $57 plus $10 in shipping. You will receive four pieces of clothing. You may keep them all or send all of them back. Okay, so the value of the collection is at least $150. So I paid $57 plus $10 of non-refundable shipping. And uh, so 67 total for four. It came in a plastic bag. It didn't come in the traditional Natalie attired box, which was perfectly fine. Everything came wrapped in paper. And here it is right here. And then here is my invoice. And uh, I'm going to jump right in. We're going to try everything on. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the first little outfit. You guys, I am so thrilled with this. This is such a cute, sweet little top. It has the eyelet, uh, what is that called? I call it eyelet, kind of, I don't, I can't think of the words right now, but um, so this is the eyelet top. It is eyelet. Okay, see, I'm not crazy. Let's see, this is the Lellis pink. Where's the tag? Oh, it's hanging off the back. This top is an eyelet top, $39, uh, size small and sleeveless. It is the cutest, sweetest little top. It's valued at, again, $39. It's a mixed media. You know, you have this little cottony material and then the eyelet, and then it's lined with more of the same material. This is precious. I absolutely love this. It fits nicely. <laughs> what a great price. Now, the shorts... The shorts are, this is their fourth anniversary celebration collection. I didn't call it the right name. Anyway, the shorts are D denim cuff shorts in Rossi. Is that what it says? Knockout skinny super stretch push up Nina Rossi jeans. And these are in a size small. These are so comfortable. Oh my goodness, they are priced at $39. Look at these shorts. These are so comfortable. Now they're a little big for me back here, but most denim is. So cute, they're stretchy, super duper stretchy. So since this says small, I'd assume they come small, medium, large. They are so cute. I like the length, I love the wash. <sighs> All right, Natalie Attired, this is fantastic. You guys, I may have to order a second one. I don't need any clothes, but this price, look at this cute little outfit. Normally, this outfit alone would have been the $57. Okay, next shirt. Super cute, little striped top with a little faux tie here. Really cute. Perfect little t-shirt for the spring. You can, especially right now, we can wear it around the house. We can wear it out of the house when we finally get to go out of the house again. So this is the Ginger K D stripes short sleeve knot top $36. Super duper cute. Uh, yes, and it is a small a size small and it's an oatmeal and red or oat and red. So cute. I absolutely love it. My kind of t-shirt, great little shirt for wearing around the house or you know, even when I'm traveling. Uh, easy to pack, easy to wear. This is likely what I'm going to keep on today. There we go. I'm sorry I don't have shoes on. This is super informal. You guys, we're just pumping out content right now just to have something to watch, something different and exciting and de-stressed, non-stressful. Okay, let's try on the last piece. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this dress doesn't fit. This is a, the DNA crepe, uh, DNA, D something, uh, crepe floral dress, $39. I'm going to email and ask if I can exchange because I love this sweet little dress. It fits pretty much everywhere but in the chest. Um, oh, wait. Maybe I just have it. 
I don't know. Yeah, it, it just doesn't quite fit here. It actually fits, but the problem is it's, I don't know, it's, it's, you see it's doing this here. I don't know if a medium would actually make that fit better or not. Um, it is an actual wrap dress. I absolutely love this sweet little dress. It is so cute. It's a little short for me. Um, I'm five foot three, but it is so cute. Isn't it pretty? Oh my goodness, what a great little dress. But you see here, it's doing this weird gapping thing. It's an actual wrap. It's not a faux wrap. It's an actual wrap. So you slide the string through, it pulls through, wraps around, and then comes and ties over here. Maybe if I adjust a little bit more, I don't know, maybe with some shapewear. I don't know, but this dress is precious. I absolutely love it. Maybe just a pin. Because you can see, I mean, the gapping is not because it there's no coverage. It's it's almost like it's a little big here, actually, and then pulling here on the sides. So a medium might then just be too big. So I may just need to play with it a little bit, maybe um, a little more structured bra uh, might help. And a little pin there, maybe, safety pin on the inside to kind of hold things together or some fabric tape or something like that. So. I don't know, I have to watch it back in the footage. But this is the cutest little dress. Oh my goodness. You guys, this box was $57 for these four pieces. Great pair of shorts, two great tops, and a really cute dress. $57. So, okay, $67 if you include shipping. So, the uh, knot top, the striped knot top, $36. The eyelet top, $39. The This dress, $39. And the shorts, for $39. So that was a total of $153 and I paid $67 for the box. So what, about 50% off roughly? So I think that's fantastic. What a fun surprise little thing for right now. You, get, you know, we're all really watching our budgets. Many of us really are struggling right now. So if you had a little extra, maybe a little, a few extra dollars, this would be a fun thing to get. So, and if you didn't care for anything in it, you can send it all back. So that's really nice. So, but the shipping is non-refundable. So, all right, you guys, this was fun. I'm gonna put my just in case over back. No, I think I'm gonna wear the shorts and the little stripy top. It's actually 51 degrees here, so it's kind of chilly here. Oh, this dress is so cute. I'm gonna have to work with it because, um, you know, it fits. You know, the wrap comes to here on me. And I think if I get a medium, it's just going to be too big. All right, you guys, if you're heading out, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe before you leave um, and give this video a thumbs up. We do, I do clothing video boxes a couple times a month. And um, I do subscription boxes like um, unboxing of FabFitFun uh, Fab and um cause box, that kind of thing. I don't do too many subscription boxes on my channel, but mostly we're vloggers and uh, we do weekly vlogs and travel vlogs and daily vlogs sometimes. It just depends upon the time of year. All right, you guys, take care, be well, and we'll see you in just a second. You say good morning, Toto? You say good morning? Are you handsome? You're so handsome. Your mommy's baby. Are you ready to get your hair cut? Are you ready? I know, mommy won't be as good as that lady that does it, huh? No, but we're gonna try, huh? We're gonna try, handsome boy. Are you my babies? Is your mommy's Jojo? He's such a good boy. Good morning, you guys. There's Grayson over there. Grayson. on the floor here. Oh, here comes another cat. Stop scratching Jojo. We're going to try and uh, give Jojo a trim this weekend. Maybe. I'm not sure. I know the shadows. It's from my camera. I'm not sure I'm ready. You see that mess over there? 
yeah, that's from my um, cabinet, my baking cabinet. It's become overrun, so I need to redo it. What am I doing? Why did I open the microwave? I'm going to get a, my cup of coffee, which I just brewed. Addie is outside having a potty break. Let's go outside and see her, shall we? All right, hang on. What are you doing, puffball? <gasps> Did that thing try and spray you? You're such a puffball. This, oh, it's trying to spray me now. Hi, baby. Ugh, I've been so busy inside the house, I have neglected the outside. Hopefully this changes this weekend and into next week. We will see. It's supposed to rain all weekend. So we may not get to really cleaning off the pollen out here, but I have been very busy inside. So not just cleaning, but working. Come on, Papa, Addy. Come here, you sassafras. You come this way, Missy Missy. Come on, let's go inside. Gotta go inside. Good girl. She says, but I don't have to quarantine. I guess it's not quarantine. Oh, there's something wet on my camera from the water. Self-isolate, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, let's uh, head into my office. I try not to look at the kitchen table, which has stuff on it for work. So, kind of happens sometimes, you know. We have to bring stuff in. It's just stuff from work in the house, and uh, it's where it sits because we don't have a place for it. I'm currently editing. What do you guys think of my... Final Cut Pro, huh? What do you guys think of the Final Cut Pro? I am playing with all the different elements in it. Uh, I really need to take some classes on it, learn it, figure it out. I am figuring it out, like where things are in it versus what they were in iMovie. Um, and the new features that it offers, Final Cut Pro offers that iMovie did not have, that I am loving like the graphics and the transition and the titles and things like that. I'm really enjoying those. So you're gonna see me playing with those a little bit. <laughs> it's fun, why not? Um, anyway, so that I can really get better at them so I can use them wisely in our travel vlogs or you know, unboxings or things like that. So whatever. Okay, I need to put my clothes away. Um, good morning. I decided to go ahead and change into this, but you can't see. So let me show you. So this is my, these are the leggings I got. What are you scratching for? She needs to be fermented so badly. These are the leggings I got from L, E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I love them. They're so cute, so soft, so comfortable, and they're Bally Fitness or something. I don't know. Um, watch out, Addie. Watch out, Missy. You can't do that. She's going under the tripod. And then this is the uh, hoodie from Fat Fun Style. I just think it's such a fun and soft hoodie. It's so soft. That's why I kept it, is it's just, it's super soft. And it fits nice. It's not too oversized. It's actually, it fits. I honestly prefer hoodies to be oversized, but Joe is knocking the camera. But um, it fits. You guys, I played with makeup today. Can, oh, Joe, watch out. Do you remember the BoxyCharm? Bo uh, I don't know. I don't know if I opened it on the channel or not or if I just opened it when I got home here. Um, that uh, really heavy glittery, I think I unboxed it on the channel. Um, the dogs are knocking the camera. I put that on this morning. Okay, it's lots of fun. I, I really like it. It's a glitter I would love to play with, but it's also everywhere. It has tons of fallout, and so I'm gonna look like a glitter explosion, a glitter bomb by the end of the day. Whatever, that's fine, we're home. And normally when I would wear that kind of thing, it's either on a cruise ship when it's formal night or whatever, so I only wear it a couple hours anyway. But I'm really glad to have that palette. There were some fun glitters in there. I polished my nails. This I did a deep dark blue. I did my toes the same color. It's the Kathleen Lights. You can't get it anymore. But I love the dark, dark blue. I wanna bake today. I was thinking of trying those Nicole Burgess cupcakes that I found a while back. She did a vlog, a cooking vlog, meal prep vlog, and she made these cupcakes. And I don't know if it was her recipe or one that she found, but um, I made a note of it and linked it for myself so that I would have it. I think I wanna make those. 
I do need to figure out how to get my FabFitFun style back to them. So I emailed them and said, hey, I need an extension on my checkout. I'm not even sure if our FedEx locations are open around here um, for shipping and that kind of thing. So Rob drove by. They are open, but limited hours. And for us, that's kind of hard for him to get to these locations. And I told them that. They extended my checkout through April 6th. It's April 4th. You know, Stitch Fix and all of this has been incredibly incredibly understanding and supportive, giving people six weeks to get their boxes back without being charged, an automatic extension. So as a matter of fact, I ordered a box because I wanted to support this company who's being so supportive of others. So I was like, you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm absolutely going to order a box. And I have credit, So and I have the style pass, which they extended for three months. So for me, it's a zero out of pocket. And it's something fun for us to do and try on. And I have $50 in credit, I think. Um, so I thought, why not? Do I need any more clothes? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But it's fun to try. So it gives us a little something to do right now. Um, but Fat Food Fun Style, that irritated me. You know, right now, especially right now, every single company that I know of is being, that I'm having to deal with or work with, is being... Um, extra generous with time and with situations like this, you know? It was upsetting to learn that Fat Fit Fun Style was kind of not being as understanding. I don't know. I just sort of felt like it, it bothered me. Maybe I'm being unreasonable. I don't know. Maybe I was expecting too much. I don't know. Whatever. So we're going to have to make a special trip and try and get over there when they're open. So, um, yeah, anyway, good Sunday morning, still morning. It is 1048 Sunday, the 5th of April, 60 degrees outside. It's going to warm up today. Uh, yesterday was so cold and rainy. It was amazing. It was the best day ever for a person like me. Um, so you've already seen that in this vlog. I know this vlog's getting a little bit long. It happens. <laughs> um, so um, what am I doing today? Yesterday I talked about, I just edited yesterday, that's why it's still fresh in my mind. Yesterday I talked about um, organizing a couple of things and we are gonna do that today. So I have two projects today. One to organize this cabinet, which is my storage container cabinet. I actually have a little bit over in this cabinet too. I'm gonna get them both organized. And also to organize my keto baking cabinet. Yay, I need to do that. So I'm gonna be doing those today. I'll show you after. Not the storage cabinet, there's no need to show you that. It, you can't really even see in there, but the keto baking cabinet, I'll show you that when I'm all through with that. Um, so you can kind of see what I have on hand. Um, I you know, kind of think that's important. Okay, so I am going to bake. I need to bake. I need some cupcakes. Like, I need them, okay? I need them. I've been snacking a lot. I think we all have. I don't even want to talk about it. I'll deal with that when all of this is over with. For now, I'm just going to do whatever I need to do for myself, a little self-care. I'm not eating tons and tons, but I am enjoying a few more calories than I normally enjoy. Okay, so these are the Nicole Burgess Wedding Cupcakes. I don't know if this is her recipe or when she got from somewhere. I have no idea. I will link the video in which I got this recipe from in the description box for you. You've probably already seen it if you're watching Nicole. So let me gather all the ingredients. I'm gonna mix all this up. You'll just see me doing it to music. And then we're gonna bake them. And we'll try them later on. I wanna see what they taste like. Um, what makes them wedding cake is the fact that they have almond flour in them. I mean, almond extract in them. Just lends a little bit different of a taste. So, and then while these are baking, I am going to go get dressed with a little makeup and my hair's gonna stay the same. I may fix it up a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of falling down. And uh, then I'll be back with you and then we'll continue on with some projects. Of course, Rob is at work as both the boys are home from work right now. We're not letting them work. And this is probably Rob, yes. So um, anyway, so he'll be home soon uh, in a little while. So, all right, let me get busy. I'll be right back.
Well, that was a train wreck of a baking session, I have to tell you. Between dropping things, cracking the eggs poorly, dropping shell in there, it, you know, we all have those days. I think my anxiety is just through the roof right now, and so as a result, I'm just not functioning as well as I normally am, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. But these cupcakes are now in the oven. I'm gonna put everything away, then I'm gonna go get dressed, throw on some makeup, brush my hair, brush my teeth again, because I've had coffee. Um, and then, um, then I need to empty the dishwasher and refill it with this morning's baking supplies and breakfast. And um, then we will make the frosting and frost the cupcakes after they're completely cooled. And we'll also go and clean out that cabinet. See you in a second. All right, there they are, all cooked. Um, toothpick comes out clean. So I'm gonna let them sit here for just a minute and then I'm gonna put them, about three or four minutes, and I'm gonna put them on a cooling rack so they cool even faster. Because if you ice them when they're hot or warm, the icing will just melt. So I like to heat up my cream cheese a little bit. I find that the sugar melts into it easier. It makes it smoother, not just being, you know, room temperature cream cheese. It's just slightly warm and you see it's just so much smoother now I should have sifted my sugar but I didn't because my sifter is wet so um, so there you go it's just so much easier prettier okay so you guys I did want to talk to you about sugar real quick okay so I have switched back or to 100% Lakanto monk fruit doesn't have to be this brand but monk fruit sweeteners they don't give me the cooling that the swerve or the erythritol cream uh, sugars give um at least i don't maybe i don't notice it as much it says monk fruit sweetener with erythritol i mean it's in there but it's just not i don't know this does not give me the cooling effect that these straight erythritol sugars give me so this is what I'm going to be using from now on going forward is all Lakanto monk fruit sweeteners. Um, I just find, and stevia, stevia is fine. Um, I just find that, um, I don't know, it tastes better to me. It's more, it, there's no cooling. Or if there is, it's only very, very slight. So, um, because that's the thing about a lot of the keto sweeteners that I just don't like is that cooling effect. That sort of ruins it for me, especially in a baked good for something like, um, you know, cinnamon rolls or icing or something to that effect. I just don't like the cooling effect. So I've switched to this. So that's what I'm gonna be using from now on. This is my regular order. I have it on this one and then you saw it earlier when I was <laughs> a train wreck of baking of mixing everything together um the granulated lakanto that's just and i'm going to stick to this brand just because it's a trusted brand for me tried and true and um so that's what you're going to see me using okay one so let's see all right we're not quite cool yet but you know i'm going to bite into this right you know i'm going to try it so let me get us a, a knife you don't have to use the papers Okay, you have to use something, either a silicone. If you use silicone, spray it with some coconut oil. I know these have um, vegetable oil in them. I don't know how I feel about that. I tried them this time to the recipe. Next time I'll probably use coconut oil. Now, this icing is a little warm. Oh, goodness gracious. It looks so pretty. So delicious. You can hear a little bit and they're talking to Chandler. All right, are you ready? They're not quite cooled down, but I'm impatient. Mm. There you go. They're pretty good. They are pretty good. They have a bit of a cornbread taste to them. How odd. It may be the texture. I don't know, but we're going to enjoy these. 
and I have a strawberry cupcake recipe. Either we're gonna make those later today or we'll see them in a vlog coming up. I don't know, we'll see. Mm, I'm gonna eat this cupcake. It's not overly sweet, which is something I appreciate. Good morning, it is Wednesday, April 8th, 8.30 a.m., 74 degrees outside. How are you today? I'm going to try and be more positive today and feel better today. Um, I've been down for, this is the third day. I'm feeling a little better today, um, but uh, I'm not sick with the you know what. That's not it, this is a reaction to food I should not have eaten, that's what this is. Not gluten, but um, other gluten-free grains. That's what this is, and I'm, I'm learning my lesson. Just like I did with gluten, I have to learn my lesson the hard way. It ultimately has to knock me down like it just did for me to really get it in my head that I can't eat these things. So it's almost like it's not real to me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but when you've been eating these things your whole life and then all of a sudden you can't eat them, it's frustrating. So when all of this situation is over, um, then I'm going to go and to the doctor and get some testing. I have finally decided I just need to do that. We need to figure out what's going on here because it seems to be getting worse, to be progressing into more and more things that I can't eat. And that's not good. So once all of this has passed, all of this has passed. I will go to the doctor and I will get some testing. As was suggested last year when I went in for all the, the beginning of the testing, just to make sure there was no cancer, nothing, you know, all of that. So um, I gotta figure this out. So how are you today? I am doing a little better. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday. I took the day off because I felt so bad. Um, Rob took me out for a drive yesterday. I brought the camera with me and it felt good to get dressed, you know, put on some nice clothes, my new clothes, and carry my new bag. I didn't even get out of the truck. But we needed to go to the P.O. box, we did that, and we needed to go um, to the uh, FedEx, and we did that. He took yesterday off just to have a day off, which was a Tuesday, which is really unusual for us, but he needed some downtime and um, he wanted to get me out of the house some way possible. And um, so he did. And we spent the day watching movies. We watched um, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, which is one of my all time favorite movies, followed by, it's not a sequel, but it's, it's the second one, the not My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, but the one, My Life in Ruins. I love that movie too. Um, and then we watched uh, Crazy Rich Asians. Oh my goodness, what a great movie. No, I had not seen it. Um, you guys, I don't watch movies. I don't watch TV. I don't, I watch YouTube. And um, so this time is kind of forcing me to get back into it. You know, we finished um, Kim's Convenience, we finished that, we've been watching George Lopez, we've been watching, um, Friends, Frasier, Seinfeld, the classics, you know, we've been watching that. Anyway, so, um, there you go. I'm feeling a tad bit better today. I do need to film a video, just a fun distraction diversion video, and I'm going to start uploading these vlogs a little faster. Um, I realized I got too far behind in reality, so you have probably already seen by the time you've seen this kind of a real quick succession of the vlogs to kind of catch you up. And um, I also need to edit a Davina vlog, pretty much the last one, so I need to get that edited. Um, even though advertisers are not paying on our travel videos and um, really YouTube's not pushing them, the views are pretty low on them, you guys are asking for them so and you're not seeing them. So I need to figure out a way to make it so you see it. Um, we did a fun collab with NYC Rocks and several other travel channels. I'll link that up here. That premiered yesterday. That was a really good video. Marilyn did a great job of editing that. Um, I just thought it was really good. So we did that and um, together, all of us creators are just trying to bring you diversion, that's all. So because I keep hearing from so many that you just can't stand to watch the news anymore and you're running out of Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime things to watch. <laughs> There's another one, I can't remember what it is, Rob likes it too, so 
All right, so I'm going to go wash off yesterday and um, put on some makeup and feel a little better, do some editing and um, that kind of thing, and then I'm gonna film this video later on this afternoon. So I probably need to wait for Rob to get home. Oh, as it is truck day, I can't go help him. Oh, the other thing I didn't tell you, the trailer that we tow for work has a major issue. So it's at the repair shop and my car won't start. So it's like, wait a minute, no, 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 no. Anyway, so no truck day today. Well, Rob has to go, he has stuff he has to do, but um, I won't be going for truck day. I can't get there and we don't have a trailer to put it in. So there you go. All right, you guys, I will talk to you in just a little bit. I know this vlog has probably gotten a little longer um, and uh, I'm sorry about that. So I'll probably zip it up here, but coming up you're going to see coming up we're going to be doing some more baking because i really want some baking i know you saw some cupcakes in this vlog i ended up once they sit for a day and they come to room temperature and they really sit for a day they really become quite tasty i just eat them without the icing i'm not interested in the icing on them um, i need to find an icing i like better i think it's the keto cream cheese icing that i'm not fond of um, so I need to find something I like a little better and I will um, and then uh, or just forego icing altogether uh, and then uh, let's see what else is there yeah I'm gonna be making tonight um, some keto nachos which you'll see in a vlog coming up there's just gonna be a lot more cooking and baking coming up here pretty soon I'm, now that I'm feeling better I just was feeling really bad and um, for quite some time for over a week because I ate gluten-free grains over the course of a few days three separate times and it just I was miserable so I'm feeling better and going forward you're gonna see a lot more cooking and baking and all of that so I'm gonna zip this up right here and let you know that I hope you're doing well and I hope you're feeling great and that I sincerely appreciate your watching and I hope these vlogs are helping you a little bit I'm sorry this one took a little bit of a negative turn but that's reality you know I, I think if I don't give you the true me what's the point right <laughs> so that's just kind of how i feel i like to see real people that's my preference that's why i watch youtube anyway all right you guys i'll talk to you soon another vlog coming up in a day or two maybe just a day i'm not sure and um we'll see you then thank you so much for watching be well be well and take care bye see you in a little bit